Gurudev, you are coming to this Bhakti festival since so many years and you are giving inspiration to devotees. But what is your inspiration on this Bhakti festival? Here at this festival, there are many devotees, new devotees, older devotees, very senior devotees also. So I come to take their association, to hear something from them and be inspired by them. And also to share with them whatever I've received from my Holy Master, Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj. And we know that Uddhav was speaking with Krishna just before Krishna left this world. And he asked Krishna, how can I quickly and easily develop brain? Krishna said, the best way to develop love, for the transcendental love, is to make festivals. Because at a festival, there is kirtan, chanting. There is harikata, discussion of pastimes. There is Mahaprasadam, there is the worship of the deity, there is the meditation. There are all types of services going on. You have the chance to engage in all the different aspects of bhakti together in the company of devotees. And by this, Krishna is present. Krishna said, Nahamba Sami Vaikunte Yogi Namridiyeshuva Yatra Ganti Madbhakta Tattatistami Narada I am not in Vaikuntha, I am not in the hearts of the yogis, but where my devotees are singing my glories, I am present there. So, I think that everyone who comes to these festivals and all glorify Krishna together, they feel Krishna's presence very, very intensely. So this is inspiring. I have a good fortune uh, each year uh, Krishna Chandra Prabhu asked me to give some lectures. So we see in Chaitanya Charamrita that uh, Ramananda Rai, he was speaking with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And they were having a discussion. So it is said, Sancharya Rama Bhita Bhakti Me Gay Swabhakti Siddhanta Chayamritani Gorabde Aitara Mona Vitrina Istadyatva Ratnalaya Tamprayati that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is like an ocean of the Bhakti Siddhanta, the conclusions of devotion. And just as the water from the ocean goes into a cloud, so similarly, the inspiration of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu became the cloud of Ramananda Rai. Then Ramananda Rai, he spoke Krishna Kata to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. That was like the cloud pouring rain onto the ocean. Now one may think, that the water comes from the ocean, it goes in the cloud and from the cloud it comes back to the ocean. What benefit does the ocean get? But no, it is said, When the sweet rain falls onto the ocean, during the time of the Swati Nakshatra, one constellation of stars, then that rain causes the appearance of jewels. So even though Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was inspiring Ramananda Rai, and Ramananda Rai was speaking back to him what he had been inspired. But still, there was the appearance of the jewels of realization that neither Chaitanya Mahaprabhu or Ramananda Rai had experienced before. And so this is the attraction, to come back to this festival again and again and discuss Kata with the devotees. And even though I may be speaking, I'm speaking something that I know, that I've heard before. But in the wonderful transcendental activity of sharing that with others, then suddenly jewels appear uh, and uh, jewels of ecstatic feelings are felt by all devotees and this is a Krishna special mercy. So for this reason I am very happy to come and I pray that again and again the grace of this opportunity uh, to serve all the devotees at this festival will come to me. Thank you. Thank you.